Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and today I'm going to showcase how to recognize a website's platform, which content management system or which platform has built the specific website you're visiting. Uh, so I'm going to showcase to you a few tools that can help you identify a majority of the websites without doing any kind of code or other. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I have three websites for it. These are all these uh, either our sites or test sites, but I have one website which is uh, built using WordPress, one is using Shopify, and one is using Magento. Uh, but this will apply for many different other uh, platforms themselves. Um, so I'm going to introduce three different tools you can use here, and uh, I'm going to showcase my favorite as well, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Okay, the first one, uh, which is the, my favorite one, is called Wappalizer, and this one in particular is the easiest one to use, um, and it fits a lot of websites, uh, and I'll showcase it to you. So what you can do, uh, obviously, in Wappalizer is you can go and you can go to their Chrome extension, and if you're okay to install extensions, you install it. You, I'll put this URL in the description and you install it. So anytime you go to a website, for example, this one, you're gonna have an icon right here in your browsers. You're gonna click and it's gonna show you all the information it knows about your website. So this is a WordPress site and it also shows you other codes and tags and other things like that technology, which is really nice. So here you go, WordPress, right? If I go here to the Shopify site and I click, it'll show me it's using Shopify. And for the Magento one, it'll do the same. So this is the one that's the easiest one. If you have the Chrome extension, Chrome browser, you just install the extension and you're ready to go. So this is the one I like the most because it's the easy, easiest one. Uh, the second one is using built with. So this is a site that does basically the same thing. And you can put in your URL. For example, I'm going to put in my URL right here and you don't have to install a uh, extension. So this is the tool number two, which is good that you don't have to install an extension. And I can go here and it'll show me the same kind of thing. It'll show me the marketing tags and all these other things. And if I scroll down below, I'll be able to see that it has more with WordPress, right? Excuse me, right here. And I'll look at frameworks, PHP, and then I go down here and I'll see that CMS, the content management system, is using WordPress. Okay. The third site I want to use is basically Netcraft and you can go to get a report and I can put in my URL for example and I can click. I don't have to install anything and it's going to do the same thing. It's going to give me more information about the site and it gives me more information about the DNS and the technology etc. And it's also going to give me about the technology, WordPress in this example, and WordPress under the PHP application. That's basically it. So I can do the same thing for all of the other sites using my tools. And these are three good tools that we use. The reason why I want to showcase these three tools is these platforms don't necessarily recognize 100% of the platforms. So sometimes you want to switch between the others to figure it out. Um, but in many cases, it'll recognize. Um, and that's it. Very simple. These are the three tools we use. It, other than that, small tip, uh, if they don't recognize some case, sometimes you can also just go to the domain and type in slash admin. And if it's a platform that has the slash admin, which is a very, um, excuse me, an unsecure thing. So for example, if I go here and I type in slash admin, it'll show me very clearly that it's a Shopify site. You see it redirected me to login as an admin to, sh to Shopify, et cetera. And the last thing uh, just to showcase is sometimes if you're a little bit of a developer and you know how to recognize uh, some code or patterns from, a, from different sites, if you right click uh, on view the source, you can search for things like the word Shopify and certain folders that are relevant and uh, consistent to certain platforms. But this is more for a developer. You can very clearly see that there's a lot of Shopify URLs. Um, that's it. So hope you enjoy this video. Let me know if you have any questions, any other specific ones you're not sure. We'll be happy to help. Appreciate it.